The Oilers are eight points back of the Vancouver Canucks. Um, they have three games in hand. They play the Canucks one more time, which means if the Oilers win their games in hand and they beat the Canucks in that head-to-head, -head, they'll hold the tiebreaker and they'll be in the top spot in the Pacific Division. Fair or foul, the Oilers will catch the Vancouver Canucks. I think foul. Um, I looked at the schedules and I think Edmonton has a little bit more of a difficult schedule. They've got two games left with Colorado. Um, I think it's about half and half playoff versus non-playoff games for the Edmonton Oilers, excuse me, versus playoff teams. Um, I think Vancouver has a little bit of a lighter schedule. I do think Vancouver, when they get Demko back, the more Lindholm plays, I do think the more comfortable and the better that lineup is going to get with him. I don't think Lindholm just forgot how to play hockey. Um, I don't think he's not going to find a way to make an impact. He's got like, you know, one shot a game over the last couple of weeks. So he's just not involved offensively quite enough, not getting the same looks or touches. But I just think this time of year, Tyler, when there's so many inner conference and, and divisional games, it's really hard to make up, you know, six or eight points, even though they do have those games in hand. So I, I would say foul. Um, but this was a difficult question. Like I really felt like I had, a, and I, and I kind of went back and forth with it. So you know, normally I feel very confident in my answers today. I'm, I would say I'm a little bit wavering. What's up, hockey fans? If you enjoyed that video, then you need to be hitting the subscribe button right here at Daily Faceoff. Exclusive interviews and analysis from our hockey insider, Frank Zaravalli, fantasy updates from Brock Sagan, and a daily live show at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss any of the fantastic content, so hit that subscribe button.